it's kind of scary. You just own your phone on TikTok in the bed and you hear <laughs> always going in the bathroom and seeing hair. The week of finals, I was out doing stuff I should not have been doing when I should have been studying, but. Welcome to my dorm. Okay, that's enough, right? <laughs> I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna cut the rest down. Okay. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Alicia here back with another video. Thanks for stopping by. So if you didn't know, my name is Alicia and I'm an upcoming sophomore at Tulane University in New Orleans, Louisiana. Today I'm gonna be giving a rundown on the dorm situation, especially for freshmen and what my experience was like. Make sure you check out my other college videos. I'll have a playlist linked down below in the cards somewhere. By the way, if you don't go to Tulane, this will still be entertaining. So don't click off just because you don't go to Tulane, okay? Okay, let's just get started. Okay, let's picture this. It's summer 2021. You're about to move into the dorm of your dreams. You're a freshman honor student. You've met a roommate. You're just so excited to talk to this girl and have a room with this girl, right? And then Tulane sends you an email saying, no babes, you're in a triple. Yeah, that's what happened to me. So I DM'd almost every black girl I seen that went to Tulane or that was going to Tulane. And luckily, Havlin DM'd me and said, no, she hasn't found a roommate and she's part of the honors program. So if you go to Tulane, the honors program, that's wall. You stay in wall residence hall. So it's three of us in a room. You're with Havlin and then there's one other person and her name is Kylie. Right off the bat, Tulane peed me off because it's like a triple was marked last on my housing application. I did not want a triple and there are so many people I know who got thrown in a triple for no reason besides Tulane over admitted our class. But anyways, quest the double, got a triple, whatever. Started to get excited anyways. So moving day goes well, I meet my RA. And during the year, he was super cool, super chill. Never got in trouble for anything, even if we had it in there. And it's basically like, as long as you don't go up to them saying, oh, I have this in my room, they're not gonna suspect that you do. Just don't be stupid about it. Don't go up in your RA's face with a bottle of wine. Don't be talking to your RA smelling like alcohol. Like, come on, use common sense. So I already told us, as long as we don't hear you talking about it, smell it or see it, I believe those are the three things, then we have no reason to investigate you or anything. And as personally a tooling, at least my experience there, we never had a room check. He never came in our room searching anything. Just don't get in trouble, just mind your business. If you want to do something, do it in your room with the door closed and locked. And if you hear somebody coming, put it away. Okay, and now it's tea time. For real. So now I get my roommate sweet mate experience. Right now, at this point in time, I'm cool with all my sweet mates. All my roommates were perfectly fine. So, like I said, at first, me and my roommate Havlin, we picked each other and then Kylie kind of just got thrown into the mix. Me and Havlin are both, you know, and Kylie's the other way. So when we first got together, there was a little bit of awkwardness. I would say animosity. Me and H were like this. Like, we were inseparable the, the first weeks of school. And we kind of pushed K, not to the back burner, burner, but we weren't, I don't think we were as inviting and welcoming as we could have been, which led to some tension, some awkwardness. We share a room. She she slept on over me on the top bunk. So it was just very weird. We never had like a big falling out or anything, but it was just awkward, you know? Two black girls are bestied up and the one white girl is kind of just like, eh. You know, that's, that's bound to be awkward. So then that's what it was. Maybe a month or two after, or a few months into the year, it got way better. I started talking to Kay. Like, I talked to Kay so much about like racism at Tulane and she was always so understanding. Like, I love her. But we just started off really rocky and I was really nervous about what was to come. But we figured it out like the adults that we are now. 
And me and H never really, we never fell out or anything. We were always cool. So our sweet mates. I'm not gonna say any names. If you know who our sweet mates are, no hard feelings. They're good people. But you know, we're freshmen, so we did stupid stuff. The way Tulane's rooms are set up, at least in the wall, there's a dorm, a bathroom in the middle, and then another dorm, right? So we have sweet mates as well. So we had three sweet mates. And by the way, I was so excited to live in wall because I did not want to come to a bathroom. But six girls sharing the bathroom, you might as well call that coming in the bathroom anyway. So, you know, I saw that there was going to be six of us in the bathroom, but I didn't trip. I was like, okay, you know what? It's still going to be great. It's still going to be fun. We got this period, whatever. So there would be times we would come to the bathroom and there would be throw up in there. We have to deal with like a lot of random throwing up in the middle of the night, which, you know, that's not a deal breaker. It happens. It really happens, especially your freshman year. And Tulane is a big party school, so you know, you're bound to get drunk and overdo it. Um, but this was happening like many nights, kind of almost back to back. So we started getting a little frustrated because us three, we didn't really do that. We never really got drunk and threw up all over our stuff. So it was just new to me, especially being from Mississippi, seeing that because I would say Mississippi is more conservative. You know, we will all be in bed and we would hear in the bathroom loud violent throwing up like violent like like somebody crawled up and you and died it's kind of scary you just on your phone on tiktok in the bed and you hear <laughs> and like hard coughing like <clears throat> and one of my roommates not gonna say which one she'll be like they're throwing up again and all we do is just <sighs> another big thing i guess that i'm not used to is like long strands of hair in the drain like long babes like you know it's not me like my hair is long but it ain't long and straight them strands was long and straight and clogged up the drain y'all let me tell you one time our drain would not drain because it was clogged and i'm thinking okay maybe somebody flushed the wrong thing and it messed up the pipes no the man came in there and said hmm it's probably here took the drain out and started plunging it or whatever he was doing and a whole bunch of hair came up. So that was annoying. Always going in the bathroom and seeing hair. And it's like, yes, we shed, yes, we're human. Just clean it up, clean it up. There'll be hair stuck in the shower walls. I just don't face the wall, face the water and just wash and get out. It felt like I was in a communal bathroom, which sucked. Then I could have been in a, a dorm without sweet style bathrooms, had one roommate and just had a communal bathroom because that's how I felt like I was living anyways. Just be ready for that. I guess my issue was I was not expecting that. I was expecting a clean, pristine bathroom since we had our own and that was not the case. Like the rugs in the bathroom, they would get filthy before somebody decided to wash them. And usually it was one of my roommates. She's the goat. She always cleaned up. She always washed them. The rugs would be so wet and soggy and just brown. Like y'all, my roommate bought white rugs. They would be brown by the time she washed them, y'all. That's how dirty it would be. And you're probably like, Alicia, why didn't you just clean out the rugs yourself? Babe, I did a lot. I really did. But it's like my side of the room felt like the only ones taking care of the bathroom. So it's gonna get to a certain point where you wanna stop and just see how far the other people will let it get. And they let it get far. I was embarrassed when my friends used their bathroom because I'm like, I have no idea what you would find. There are times where they never flushed, which is normal, it happens. But like, number two, number two, really? Come on. There was a time like two of my sweet mates were, do I wanna say this? Two of my sweet mates were in the bathroom, one on the toilet throwing up and one laying on the floor passed out. Not like passed out as in sick, just sleeping. So I was just like, oh my gosh, oh my god, I've been over here, Eugene. But you know, we're good. There's no hard feelings. I'm just, I'm just giving the tea, okay? Whatever, it's done. Freshman year is done. Freshman year can be rough with, with Ida, with COVID. You know, stuff happens. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. So now I want to touch on like the experience having roommates. So for me, it was actually pretty difficult, especially having two, because I don't think you get a lot of privacy. Now, you can text and be like, hey, can I have the room? But it's like, whenever I did that, I just felt so selfish. 
and it's different than just having one. When you have one roommate, you know, it's kind of easier to figure out each other's schedule and when you'll be in the room and when you won't. But when there's three of you, it's harder to figure out when someone will be in there versus when they won't. Us three, we always shared our locations, so I would know who's in the room pretty much before I would go. But it sucked sometimes because it's like, you can't talk on the phone unless you want them to hear your conversation. And you're probably like, at least you put in AirPods. But what if I want to say something bad? Or what if I want to talk about something that I want to be private, you know? And sometimes for me, it'll be hard to focus because I'm in here and you're also over there watching whatever show or listening to whatever music or just eating and it's just so distracting to me i need my own space and i also did not want to be the one who was always in the room i don't want one of my roommates to look at me like dang she's always in here can she get out so i did everything i can to avoid being in the room which affected my grades because i was not studying as much because i was so worried about not being in the room which i know is so stupid but yeah so when i would be out of the room all day i didn't want to come in the room at night and study i'm like if I'm barely in my room, why would I use it just for studying? So I would go out, maybe study a little, and then end up meeting up with a friend, talking to them for hours, not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, coming to the room, wanting to relax and not do any work, and then getting behind in class. That was just, ooh, child. And I want to say I figured it out, but I did because the week of finals, I was out doing stuff I should not have been doing when I should have been studying, but that's a video for another day. I hope this video entertained you, helped you if you're going to Tulane. Stay tuned for more college content, hair content, etc. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out, gangsters.